Hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. And you may ask yourself, where have you been, Chris? What, where have you been? Well, I've been moving. I told you in one of the videos here a while back in one of the fishing videos that we were moving from St. Mary's, we're moving to Richmond Hill. So we have made the move. We somewhat have the house straight for the most part. Uh, so I'll do a little outside tour here and I'm gonna take you along on a little bike ride on my uh, e-bike, my electric bike that I hadn't rode in a while. So, let's look at the front of the house in the yard. We live over here in Richmond Hill, Georgia. It is south of Savannah. This is my neighborhood. It's a very quiet uh, neighborhood, kind of at the end of a road. Here's my house. And, of course, i got a lot of things I'm going to do. Y'all know me. Don't want to just leave it the way it is. Um, we are going to get a cover for the boat eventually. I've got we've got a brick house. I've got a nice lot, about seven tenths of an acre. Uh, I'm gonna have to come in eventually and trim up these crepe myrtles and these smoke bushes over here. Get this looking pretty on this side. But it's a pretty house. It's a brick house. I've never had a brick house before. So this is the front of it. And you can hear in the back we have chickens. We've never had chickens before, so I'm a professional rancher now. I like to think of myself as a professional rancher. Something like that. Let's go back here. And I do have like a little raised bed garden area that uh, it's a little late to use. I might throw some okra or something in here. It's not too late to put okra out. But I have this raised bed area. The thing I'm concerned about with it is the amount of light that it gets. But the previous owner said that they did grow stuff back here, so I'll give it a shot. If that don't work, I'll do something different. This is the back of the house. You can see they had the chickens out back here. They dug up all this dirt. At one point in time, here's the chicken coop in the pen. Back here. You can hear those little devils. That's uh, Florence Henderson right there. You can see her. Hey, Florence. There's uh, Henrietta over there. You can see Henrietta. We have 15 chickens. You can hear them. Some of them are in there laying eggs right now as we speak. Here's Jade. She enjoys it. Yeah, I see a girl. I know. What is it? What? Oh, just lay in the dirt. <sighs> okay. Let's see. And then back, we're not going to go inside the house. Tammy can do that in one of her videos later. Um, this is the back area back here. We have a pool back here. Never had a pool. So I've been in there a few times. You can see it's got a lot of mature plants, trees, stuff like that. So I'm really happy with that. It's going to take some. A little bit of landscaping stuff, not too bad. It's a saltwater pool. Like I said, I'm already enjoying that. This is like the, um, let's see, let me back up a little bit. This is the uh, back area. You can see we've got a few, a little bit of furniture stuff out here, slide. That's a good view here. And there's our where we could sit and watch we've already had the kids come over a few times to swim our adult children okay so there's that and back around to this side here's where we park The garage is little uh, and it's packed. So one of my first projects is gonna to be to get an outbuilding. 
because I got so much junk in here. I mean, it's everything. It's all the stuff that was in my 12 by 12 building I had. So, um, future plan is to maybe cut down these two trees right here and fix me a kind of a boat cover like I had down there in St. Mary's and put a uh, nice building back here maybe a gate going through this fence so I can get in through the backyard um, but I think that my property goes basically a little bit to the left of where this little road looking thing is here and then it runs straight out right through there so I don't have a whole bunch of room on this side so eventually we'll get that but enough of that let's get out here and let's ride our bike let's go have a good time right around the neighborhood here you can hear all the birds singing and chirping and let's check out the neighborhood Check out the neighborhood. At least part of it. See the marsh from behind the houses here, which is nice. And it's a dead end, so there's no through traffic, which is really nice. You always see people riding their bikes and walk in a lot of people have um, golf carts here that they ride around try to get you guys where you can see of course I know with a GoPro you don't get a good view of stuff that's far off from you and all that but this will be a nice little view of the neighborhood anyway very nice. Seems to be very quiet. Very nice people so far. And right down here, just real close to my house, there is a uh, little park I'll show you. You know, where like kids can play and stuff. And then there's a community center. And a uh, boat launch that you can use. There's like a little HOA or whatever you pay, but it's not much at all, guys. I mean, it's really very, very reasonable. It's not like one of those gated communities where you have to pay a ton of money. Because there's not a lot of amenities. I mean, there's not like a pool, you know, for the community or tennis courts or anything like that. This is... You know, kind of limited to what you're about to see. All right, here's the uh, the uh, community center and the little park over there, basketball court, that kind of stuff. and I mean you saw how close it was to my house it's very close I need to learn how to ride a bicycle it's been a while it's been a while and then right here is a community dock you can't launch your boat here but you can uh dock at the thing it's got spaces for maybe about six boats so you can launch your boat and then come down here park your boat dock your boat this is the weekend so it's being used Place where you can, if you want to grill out, it's got a little grill down here. 
don't have a charcoal grill yet. I may have to go down there to St. Mary's and get all my blocks and rebuild my charcoal grill up here. But you can see the view. It's beautiful. Very nice. See, they got electricity, they got the boat slips and all that. Okay. So there's that lovely view. We got water that you can use. A little wash off station here. Beautiful. And this is probably three miles, maybe two and a half miles from my house. This is uh, the entrance down here to a marina called Kilkenny Marina. Now I can launch my boat here, but they don't have a, a boat ramp. They have a, a boat lift. I'll show y'all what that is. I've never seen a boat lift until I came. Well, I've seen them, you know, but I haven't seen so many of them until I came up here closer to the Savannah area. This is a popular spot. A lot of people come down here and get their live shrimp, stuff like that. There's a nice restaurant right there called the Marker 107. Me and Tammy are going to have to come to. It looked very good on the menu. I have to say it looked very good. And you can see some people launched today. A few trucks down here. Like I said, it's the weekend. So I probably really won't be coming down here much on the weekend. Let me just sit here. I really gotta... sit on that port swing and watch how this operates. I haven't done that yet. So I'm sitting here on a swing. There's been a couple of boats launched. So I've been sitting here, but you can come down here you can get gas. Those tanks over there, those blue tanks, have live shrimp in them. And what happens is I hook you up. That lift up there, haul you out there, and then drop you down in the water. And apparently all the people here, they come in from town, and they ride out to the island out there to go to the beach. So you go to the beach by boat instead of going to the beach by your, driving by your car. That's what everybody does, because that island out there is Asabal Island, and it doesn't have um, a bridge up to it or anything like that. Oh, that's diesel, right? 